I've been wanting to do this video for a while, simply because they're the saws that I have. I know that the internet is full of videos that show high horsepower chainsaws compared one brand to another. This is not one of those fair comparisons. This is a homeowner comparison. So I've got a 16 inch Yardworks two and a half horsepower electric, a Poulon three and a half horsepower electric, a cobalt 80 volt battery operated, and an Echo CS3510. Gas power, obviously. Um, this is not, a, like I said, a fair comparison because they are different horsepowers. But as a homeowner getting into your first chainsaw or your second chainsaw, and you think, how much do I need? Should I go electric? Should I go battery? What's the trade off? How do they compare? This video is for you. If you're cutting more than a quarter or two a year and you've got two or three chainsaws already, this video is probably going to annoy you. But it is what it is. This is just going to be a quick demonstration cutting different size branches or different size logs. I'm not going to be felling any trees. Uh, but you'll get an idea of the cut speed and the noise level and what you get you for your money because like i said the yard works is a 99 dollars saw the poulon the three and a half horsepower 159 nine dollar saw uh the cobalt with one battery is close to 400 dollars, and the batteries are well over 100 dollars a piece and the echo is a 400 dollar saw uh if you uh include taxes and everything um but like i said it's you know just above entry level it's not a uh, farm saw it's not a timber saw it is a homeowner saw and i won't be talking over the video because of the noise of the saws uh, i might add some commentary post-production but for the most part this will just be a video of the chainsaws in action uh, i can time things on the video and post-production again i'm not timing them here it's pretty obvious you know when you see it that uh, some of them are going to take 10 seconds and some are going to take 20. So it's really not a situation where you're going to be buying these saws based on a second or two difference uh, for cutting through a log. Uh, homeowners aren't into uh, the volume production. It's a matter of efficiency and ease of use and financial restraints, uh, quite simply. Uh, a $400 gas-powered saw that gets used once a year is a waste of time for a lot of people. And uh, some people just want to go electric but aren't sure whether the, they should go with a corded electric or with a battery. And this is an example of each. And again, like I said, not a fair comparison, but a comparison nonetheless. We'll start with the smallest logs and work our way up to the bigger logs. I have a range of anywhere between 2 inches and 8 inches for logs here. Simple. Trigger. Safety. There is no break on this. It is an older model of yard works. It's got to be 20 years old, but it's got very few hours on it. And all the chains have been newly sharpened. So it's as fair as a comparison as I can get regarding chain sharpness because I sharpen them all myself. And it may not be a professional job, but at least they're the same. This model is a little newer, maybe 10 years old. It does have a chain break and to kick back. It also has the safety chain, which is every other tooth. And it's as loud as the yard works. If you notice, if 
you notice as soon as I release the trigger, the engine still goes, it still rotates, but there is an automatic lock on that chain, it just stops instantaneously. Hopefully that was a bit quicker. This is the 80 volt battery operated. This is a huge battery. Cobalt, this is the first generation. This is the second generation out now. Power on. The uh, throttle's here and you have to depress that to begin with. This one happens to be quieter than the two quartered chainsaws. Love this chainsaw. Ease of use is just up there. It's uh, quiet enough that I can not worry about ear protection. It's a little on the heavy side for carrying through the bush, but the convenience of just being able to tap the battery and go, tap the power button and go. Battery takes about half an hour to charge. Lasts about an hour, hour and a half of simple cutting like this. Uh, I'm not going to do it cut count because various sizes of wood make a difference. So obviously you're going to cut a 16 inch piece of wood. It's not going to cut 50 logs like it would a four inch piece of wood. And in. Obviously quicker. <laughs> This log is about five inches across here. It expands to almost eight inches across at the base. So let's be fair to the saws here. I'm gonna start with the smallest saw on the smallest piece. And as we go, there'll be a slight difference in size. But again, this is not a timing comparison. It's a performance example of what you get with different saws at different price points. Skip chain on the two corded electrics. The Cobalt and the Echo have full chain.
three and a half horsepower Poulon. came out something you're gonna have to deal with with a quartered saw By the way, this is all fresh cut oak that was felled yesterday. It's not dried at all, but it is oak, it's fairly hard. So let's try one slice, because I'm gonna run out of wood and we're in a knot pretty soon, so they're gonna be thin slices. I'm gonna do one slice with each of the saws here. It's not going to work. That'll work. down a couple of times and it's done that before that's one advantage I have seen with the cobalt the 80 volt the bat and it's the same with battery operated cars too they have torque out the wazoo so you never really end up in a situation where you overpower them if you do lean on a battery operated saw too often or too much you'll end up 
overtaxing the battery and it'll actually shut off and beep at you. And it's just a matter of restarting and going again. It's, whereas here, you actually overtax the saw and then the clutch pretty much slips, telling you to back off. So that's the end of the video. You can see that there is a obvious difference in what you get for the money. Uh, there's a convenience issue with corded and that you don't have to worry about carburers, carburetors getting gummed up, uh, charging batteries, expensive batteries. Um, but you're limited to as long as your extension cord is. So in this case, it's 200 feet, which is convenient for around the house. I'm not going to go and fell a tree half a mile away and bring it back in the truck with the corded. It's not going to happen. The battery operated, as you've seen, works quite well. Um, it's nice and quiet. No need for ear protection. No having to worry about gas going stale or mixing your fuel 50 to 1 and getting that right. It's just press the button and go. Uh, the Echo is nice and light, um, but it's loud. And I have to deal with storage issues, which is the biggest issue. People buy chainsaws. They use them. They put them away. And they don't use them again for a year or maybe two. And they pull it out and it says, well, it doesn't work. It worked fine last year. Just dump the gas out, put fresh gas in. And the next time you store it, either use stabilizer in the fuel all the time uh, or just bleed it dry. Let it run out of gas. Pour the gas out of the tank into your jerry can. Start the machine. Let it run that last half an ounce that's sitting in the carburetor until it runs out. Then you put it away. Next year your stalls start just fine. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.